what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After weeks of protest, a North Carolina judge finally forced the Forsyth Detention Center to release the video footage of the moments leading up to the death of 56-year-old John Neville. Backstory. John is in the detention center for assault on a female. He's laying in his bed. He falls out of the top bunk. Officers come in and uh, he's disoriented. There's some struggle. The nurse comes in eventually, tells him that he had a seizure. About 45 minutes later, they move him into another cell by way of wheelchair. They also put a spit bag over his head because they said he was trying to bite the officers. They get him in the cell and they got him handcuffed with his hands behind his back and his legs uh, cuffed up, like bent towards his back. And he's laying on his face and he's telling them at least 20 times, I can't breathe. Um, he goes, he slips in and out of consciousness. They continue to uh, keep him pinned down and keep his face uh, uh, toward the floor. Got him on his stomach the whole time. He's telling him, I can't breathe. Finally, they leave the cell. The nurse comes back, peeps through the door, check on him. Okay, let me back in. So she goes in, try to resuscitate. They transport him to an area hospital where they pronounce him dead two days later. What I want to know is this, fam. Why is it when somebody says, I can't breathe, you invariably you have a damn idiot who says, well, you're talking, you can breathe. That's what the fool said. Reminds you of anybody? That's what Derek, the police officer who killed George Floyd said, you can breathe, you're talking. Where they get them from, fam? So all of these officers have been uh, fired and charged. This happened back on December 4th. This is what December 4th is when he died. The incident happened on December 2nd. All this time, they've been holding on to that footage, not wanting to get out. You know when they're in the wrong, fam, because when they're in the right, overnight, footage goes out immediately. And what do they say? They come out with a press conference real fast, and they say, well, we want to let the, let the, the public know that you know we're out here and we're doing the best that we can and uh, we want to be totally transparent and all of this old stuff, right? This is when they know they're right and they don't have time to doctor on the images. When they want to cut something out and they got a doctor on it, oh, it's not going to be released overnight. When they know they're all the way to the right, they're going to watch that footage. Okay, watch it. Then they probably have somebody else that come in that, that, that last level of defense to watch it. Okay, we good? We good? Okay, all right, put it out. Bang! That's what they do when they know they're in the right. When they know they're in the wrong, that video takes a lot longer to come out. So they're doing all kinds. They're either sitting on the video footage or somehow, some way, parts of the video just disappears.
If somebody tells you they can't breathe, common sense would tell you whatever you think that could be remotely restricting their oxygen, that could be restricting their air pad, something would tell you to do what you can to stop it, right? No, that's not what they do. They do the total opposite. Murder charges, first degree, for every single one of them and their children. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?